Hello friends, if you are going to get your slab that is roof casting done or are planning to get it done then don't get your roof casting done without knowing these 21 things. Because whenever we get our slab or roof casting done due to lack of proper knowledge we make many such small mistakes whose losses are quite big like cracks developing in our slab, dampness or seepage problems coming and rainwater getting collected on the roof, etc. And all these problems are quite common for most people. But if you take some precautions at the time of your roof casting, then you can get rid of all these problems for life. Now, what are those precautions which you have to pay special attention to during slab casting? In today's video, we will understand all of this in detail. So the first tip is, which rebar and which cement should we use for roof casting, which is usually a common confusion for most people. See friends, it is often seen that just one or two seasons after the house construction, water starts dripping from our roof. During the rainy season, the problem of dampness or seepage begins. The main reason for this is not our construction design, but the wrong selection of materials. That's why for roof casting, you must pay special attention to the selection of materials. Now let us talk about rebar, that is TMT or steel reinforcement. Today for home construction, TMT bars from reputed brands like Kamdenu, Rati or Jindal are widely used. Don't worry about primary versus secondary steel. Just ensure that the steel is ISI marked, properly certified and free from rust. Use the quantity and spacing as per your structural engineer's design. Second, if we talk about cement, whenever we do our home construction, it is very important to understand the engineering fundamentals. Not just for show off, but while choosing materials, we must pay special attention to the safety and strength of the structure. Think which part of the house bears the most load. It is the load-bearing structural members, like columns, beams and slabs. These are the members that bear the overall load of our house. Therefore, we should always select the best construction materials. From an engineer's point of view, the most important thing in structural members is the quality and proper mix of concrete used. If the concrete is not properly mixed, compacted and cured, it will become weak quickly. Cracks will develop in it and it won't last long. In simple words, the better the concrete mix and curing, the stronger and more durable your slab will be. I have seen on site that some brands come only with a name but don't perform that well. That's why cement for slab casting should always be genuinely reliable so that there is no compromise with the strength of your home. Always use OPC 43 or OPC 53 grade cement or PPC cement from reputed brands like Ultratech, ACC, Ambuja, Birla, Shri Cement or JK Lakshmi. This ensures that your concrete is strong and durable. Third, whenever you start roof concreting, Beams and slab should ideally be cast monolithically. That means beams and slab are poured together in one continuous pour to ensure proper bonding. Proper compaction of beams is essential before leveling the slab, but both should form a single structural unit. Fourth is proper compaction. During concrete pouring, you must use a vibrator properly so that the concrete gets proper compaction and no air voids remain. Because if you don't use a vibrator properly in concrete, small air voids will remain in it, through which during rain water will seep in and dampness will appear below your roof. So if you want to avoid such dampness, you must use a vibrator during concrete casting. Tip number 5. Always use a concrete mixer machine for concrete mixing. It means you should always use a concrete mixer to make concrete because a mixer machine mixes your concrete properly and eliminates chances of segregation. Never make concrete manually for structural slabs. Keep this in mind. Number 6. Concrete Ratio 
most people make mistakes in this wasting extra money those who build houses without drawings or design suffer big losses because they don't know which grade of concrete to use in footing beam column and slab due to lack of knowledge they may use incorrect grades so always remember that for roof casting your concrete grade should be at least m20 for m20 a typical nominal mix is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 cement sand and aggregate but for accuracy and strength always follow the engineer specified grade number 7 extra material usage many people think that by adding extra materials their slab will become stronger so they increase the quantity of every material more steel more cement and spoil the concrete ratio too much cement increases the heat of hydration which can cause cracks so never add extra materials use only what your structural engineer has mentioned in the drawing because strength doesn't come from extra material but from accuracy so pay attention to this number 8 water cement ratio during concrete mixing you have to maintain proper water and cement ratio meaning the quantity of water in your concrete must be proper too much water reduces the strength of concrete this causes bleeding where water rises to the surface carrying cement with it weakening the bond between aggregates and paste so take special care of the quantity of water to ensure dense and strong concrete number 9 concrete temperature the temperature of the concrete should ideally be below 35 to 40 degrees celsius in hot weather use cool water to prevent the mix from overheating after mixing concrete should be placed and compacted immediately ideally within 30 to 45 minutes to avoid loss of workability and cracks number 10 waterproofing compound you must use a good quality waterproofing additive in the concrete it improves workability durability and protects steel from corrosion follow the manufacturer's recommended dosage typically 0.2 to 0.5% of cement weight brands like pedilite fosrock sika or doctor fixit are reliable number 11 proper slope and leveling During roof concreting you must pay special attention to proper slope and leveling so that water flows properly to the drain The correct way is to set the slope with the shuttering before pouring concrete not by sloping the wet concrete itself This ensures uniform slab thickness and proper leveling Number 12 Use 10 mm and 20 mm aggregate in 40 60 ratio That means instead of using only 20 mm aggregates use 20 mm and 10 mm aggregates in roughly 60 to 40 proportion the smaller aggregates fill the gaps making concrete denser and stronger reducing seepage chances number 13 old and new slab jointing when joining a new slab to an old one roughen the old slab clean it and apply a concrete bonding agent extend rebar from the old slab into the new slab or use mechanical couplers this prevents seepage and ensures structural continuity number 14 always keep a carpenter under the slab while casting from the start till completion keep one skilled carpenter and a helper under the slab to monitor props and shuttering if anything moves they can fix it immediately number 15 finishing never keep the slab finishing completely smooth if flooring is to be done over it a slightly rough surface helps tiles or stone flooring adhere better giving a strong and long lasting bond number 16 dry cement sprinkling never allow your mason to sprinkle dry cement on wet concrete this weakens the surface and causes cracks always finish the slab with proper troweling or floating and keep it moist during curing number 17 hot and rainy weather concreting in hot weather keep the slab moist using wet gunny bags or sprinkling water to prevent cracks in rainy weather cover the slab with polythene sheets or tarpaulin to prevent washing away the cement slurry 
नंबर एटीन फ्री फॉल ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट वेन पोरिंग कॉन्क्रीट एवॉइड लेटिंग इट फॉल फ्रॉम ए हाइट मोर देन वन टू वन पॉइंट टू मीटर इफ पोर्ड फ्रॉम टू हाई सिग्रीगेशन ऑकर्स वीकनिंग द मिक्स यूज ए शूट और पाइप टू गाइड कॉन्क्रीट जेंटली ऑन टू द स्लैब इफ नीडेड नंबर नाइनटीन स्लैब थिकनेस द मिनिमम थिकनेस ऑफ ए स्लैब शुड बी वन ट्वेंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम दैट इज फाइव इंचेस नेवर रिड्यूस इट टू फोर इंचेस टू सेव कॉस्ट दैट विल वीकन द स्लैब कॉज क्रैक्स सीपेज एंड स्ट्रक्चरल इशूज नंबर ट्वेंटी क्यूरिंग प्रॉपर क्यूरिंग इज एसेंशियल फॉर कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रेंथ एंड ड्यूरेबिलिटी स्टार्ट क्यूरिंग विद इन ए फ्यू आवर्स आफ्टर कास्टिंग कीप द सर्फेस कंटिन्यूअसली वेट फॉर सेवन डेज इन नॉर्मल और कूल वेदर एंड टेन डेज इन हॉट वेदर दिस एंश्योर्स यूर स्लैब गेन्स फुल स्ट्रेंथ एंड रिमेन्स क्रैक फ्री एंड नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वॉटर प्रूफिंग आफ्टर स्लैब कास्टिंग इज कंप्लीट अप्लाई ए गुड क्वालिटी वॉटर प्रूफिंग ट्रीटमेंट इट प्रिवेंट्स वॉटर पेनिट्रेशन एंड लीकेज मेकिंग यूर रूफ ड्यूरेबल एंड मेंटेनेंस फ्री Reliable options include cementitious or liquid membrane systems from reputed brands. Okay friends, so during roof casting you must pay special attention to these 21 important points. Follow them carefully and your slab will be strong, durable, crack free and safe for years to come. Now friends, I want to hear from you which of these 21 tips did you find most useful? or do you have any questions or experiences to share about roof casting drop your comments below and let us discuss see you in the next video thanks for watching